Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I've read during each time I've ever been in a slump. These books honestly has just helped me get out of my slump. They're also pretty amazing reads. They're very fast paced. Some are super funny, very cute rom-coms, very cute romance if you're going through a reading slump right now. These are some books that I would highly recommend. The first set of books are literally anything from Lynn Painter. That woman writes such funny, entertaining books. One of the very first books I read from her is Mr. Wrong Number. I finished this in like maybe two days. It was so good. It's very interesting. It's very funny. The main female character is super relatable. She literally has no idea what she's doing with her life. She accidentally burned down her apartment and now she has to live with her brother and his roommate, also known as his childhood best friend, and she's honestly like had a crush on him forever. She received a text message one day from this random number. This is not a spoiler. This is literally what the plot of the book is. And it was a dirty text message and she's very intrigued by it. So she kind of kept the conversation going. And later she kind of finds out that it is her brother's roommate that's been sending her these dirty text messages. Trust me, this is a book that you will not put down. It was super funny. I loved it. The other two books that I read from her probably are so sick and tired of me of saying these. But Better Than The Movies, which is my favorite book of all time and the do-over. My goal is to read every single Lynn Painter book. I believe she has a couple coming out soon and I can't wait to get my hands on them. Go read her books if you're in a slump right now, especially if you love really cute romance. They're not very cheesy, but most of them are very YA, which I really love. So you just need a little bit of fluff to like kickstart your reading back again. The next few books I have here is from a series and it is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Barnes. I really enjoyed this series. It was very fast paced. It literally got straight to the point until it didn't get straight to the point. If you've read this book, you know exactly what I mean. The first book was the best book in the entire series. I loved it. It's a YA mystery. There's a hint of romance, but it's it's just like the subplot of it. I feel like the romance progresses more in the next two books in the series. But this book is basically about a girl. She is in high school. She's literally living in her car. She has no parents. Her big sister is like her parental figure and she's in like a very toxic relationship with her boyfriend. So Avery, the main female character, decides she's not going to be putting up with any of that. So she's going to be living in her car. She gets called into the principal's office one day and there's this gorgeous guy just standing there and when I tell you it was love at first words on a paper that doesn't make any sense but I'm telling you I literally fell for him the first time he was introduced he's still my favorite brother in this entire series but that's besides the point he literally gets called in and turns out that she was listed in this guy's grandfather's will and I'm telling you this guy's grandfather is the biggest billionaire in the country. They have no connection whatsoever and her name was just listed in his will. So this gorgeous guy ends up taking her to their mansion. She inherits literally everything this man owned. He has four grandsons and he left them like nothing basically. She gets everything and the brothers kind of are onto her. They think she's a con woman. They don't like her. They're trying to like sabotage her. They're trying to like understand who is she? How is she related? They think maybe she might be a granddaughter. It's such a mystery. It's such a like a mind twisted game and I love it. I loved every single word on this book. It was very well written. This was probably the best YA like well-written YA book I've ever read. Okay, I have another YA series and I don't know how I feel about sharing this series. Probably gonna think I'm crazy, but just hear me out. <laughs> it's the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy and I did not love the series, but I didn't hate it. I felt like the writing was very childish and cheesy and corny and not the greatest. I loved the show way, way more than I liked the books and I'm very excited for the new season but this book honestly the first
first book was pretty good and then the second book was very depressing but also like really good and you kind of just want to know what is going on what's happening which brother she's gonna end up with i think this is like the perfect series to read now because it's like spring and summer it's just to kind of get you in that summer mood this book is about a girl and her family they go to this beach house every summer it's her mother's best friend's house and they spend this entire summer there every year her mother's friend has two sons around the same age as this girl and her brother and they're all like very close but she has a crush on one brother and another brother has a crush on her and the brother she has a crush on doesn't want anything to do with her and it's like very confusing it is a love triangle did not expect it to be a love triangle but like after watching the show and i'm like oh this is supposed to be like a very cute fun ya type of read but then you get to the second book and it's like whoa depression what is going on here did not expect it but give it a try you might like it if you're into like very girly summery reads it helped me get out of my slump i did read a lot i was very disappointed in certain things but you're never going to be satisfied with any book that you read okay so i have another summary book that literally i flew through because it was so entertaining and the writing was just amazing and it is taylor swift coded heck yeah it's the summer of broken rules by kale walter and i absolutely adore this book it's very sad but it was very beautiful and it's very fun as well a girl who lost her sister she's been very depressed she's not really talking to anyone she's just been like in her little bubble just alone because her sister was her best friend her everything they go to this vacation every summer and she decides okay i need to kind of get my life back together so she decides to go she meets this guy he kind of like helps her get back into the world and she starts to kind of like like him and like has feelings for him but she's only there for the summer and he's going away she gets very distracted by him in the best way and they just kind of form this partnership and this bond and it just kind of helps her to get out of her funk and just like join the world again i loved it it was so beautiful and it was one of the best summer reads i read last summer and i kind of want to read it again the main male character he was so sweet and so kind and just like so gentle with her like he knew she lost her sister and stuff like that and he was just like trying to make her feel better and just like trying to do like things to like get her mind off of it it's so so sweet you need to read this book because there's this very cute bubbly romance in there and you just kind of want to know what's going to happen between these two characters they just met and they have this incredible bond and I think you should read it. I have another summer book and it's Malibu Rising by Taylor Reed. Let me tell you, this book was not what I expected. I think it deserves a five star because it was just very well thought out and I love how we got point of view from each sibling in this book. This book is about the River siblings and they've kind of just been on their own for as long as they can remember. Their father was not a very good dad, their mother died pretty early and the oldest nina she's kind of been the mother figure for her siblings and they've struggled a lot they just kind of rise to fame and built a home and a family for themselves it's very inspiring just reading about their story and their childhood this entire book just takes place within one day but it goes back to their past how they got to where they are right now it's kind of just about the siblings preparing to host their annual end of summer party but each sibling has something that they're hiding and it's all gonna come out at the end of this party i've never really read anything like that and i thought this book was very beautiful you need to read it especially this summer it is very interesting and you're going to be hooked because you kind of just want to know what each sibling is hiding okay so i have one of my dark romance series here i've probably talked about this a lot in like every single video that i own Mind series by St. Abby, a girl getting revenge on these guys. They treated her and her family so badly, framed her dad for murder and all sorts of craziness. Years after, she's created a new life for herself, a new identity, and now she is out to kill these men. She ends up falling in love with the detective that is looking for this person that's killing these men and he has no idea this really messes with your mind and you are going to be so hooked because i finished this entire series in a couple of days maybe like three or four days so twisted but it's so good someone reviewed this book and i think it was like the top reviewer it was something like i 
support women's rights but I also support women's wrongs and I'm like this book literally is the definition of that. Okay, I have another series I want to talk to you about and it is the Twisted series by Anna Hong and I have a love-hate relationship with this series. I only like two books out of this entire series. I like Twisted Games and Twisted Hate and I mainly love it because of the characters. Honestly, read it for the characters because it's hilarious. But you have to get through the first book. It's insufferable, but I did not like it. I genuinely did not like it. I couldn't stand it and I hated it. First book is Twisted Love. It is brother's best friend. Eva has to move in next door to her brother's childhood best friend. She's kind of had a crush on him. He's like this grumpy billionaire, doesn't care about anything, doesn't care about anyone. He has trauma. It's very fast paced. I feel like it got straight to the point. Second book is my favorite book of all time. It is Twisted Games. This one is Bodyguard Romance. This book has like one of my favorite couples of all time. Bridget is a princess and she is Loki secretly in love with her bodyguard and that pretty much sums it up. Another one of my favorite books. This book was so hilarious. You could get out of your slum by just reading this book. Talk about smut. This has one of the best smuts. I mean Twisted Games was pretty steamy and I loved it but I feel like this one just has like a lot of hate tension. Oh we are so here for it. Josh is like the funniest book boyfriend ever. He deserves the entire world. And then Twisted Lies. I have a very interesting relationship with this book because I relate to Stella so much. She is me on paper like everything about her is me. Also Stella loves matcha and she loves fashion. The series is super fast paced. The stories are very different and you're going to just love the characters. Just read it for the characters. I, I feel like you'll like it. I'm going to talk to you guys about poetry books which have been very helpful with my slum. One of my favorite poetry books would have to be the Amanda Lovelace Poetries because it's fairy tale theme and it just talks about like being yourself and like happily ever after and then the right person will be there when you least expect it and I feel like it's very motivating and it like gives you hope that you're not going to be alone forever and you're going to always have to put yourself first and I really like that because it really talks about women empowerment and just like doing what's best for you and just understand what your needs are and put yourself first. I feel like this was very very inspiring to me and I really would recommend reading that. This is Please Love Me At My Worst. This is kind of like a very sad poetry book that talks about breakups and loving the wrong person and just giving your all to someone who does not deserve it. If you can relate to that book, I am so sorry. It's very devastating but it's also eye-opening because there's so much more to you. This one is The Chaos of Longing by K.Y. Robinson and this one is so relatable but it's also very sad devastating and i've never been so affected by little words on paper and then i have the lily reinhardt one it was very personal and i kind of get where she was coming from a lot of people say it's not real poetry i really liked it because it really just talks about her life what she's been through kind of like she's been at her worst how she got back on her feet i find it very motivating and very inspiring and i feel like her words really touched me and that's all that matters to me that is all that i have for today i really hope that you guys read these books and they get you out of your reading slump thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye